Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to keep things simple, easy, and delicious for you. Today, I'm pulling out of my pantry some brownie mixes, and I'm going to turn these into some amazingly delicious cookies, okay? Have fun with this one. Okay, nice fudgy centers and crispy edges. Brownie mix cookies. Okay, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when I put out simple, easy, and delicious meals and desserts for you. All right, y'all, go in your pantry, pull out your brownie mix boxes, and let's make some cookies. So to get started, I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Now, I'm using a baking pan here that I've lined with some parchment paper. You can even use those sill mats also if you would like. You can spray these pans lightly, but you just need to be careful because it's gonna be oily and then your cookie may not dry, all right? So I would really recommend the parchment paper. I'm using a one inch scoop today. Now, I'm gonna be using my electric hand mixer and I'm using the large flat beaters today, not the very thin ones, you know, like the whisk ones because that won't go through the batter. It's gonna be a thick batter. Now, you can also use your stand mixer if you'd like, but just use the paddle. Don't use the whisk, the wire whisk ones. All right, so today I'm gonna to be starting off with Fun Betty. Now it comes with the cake mix here that I'm going to use in just one bowl. We're going to make this. So we pour all of this in. All right. Now in the Funfetti box here came a little package with the cool Funfettis, right? Once we scoop the cookies out, that's when this is gonna come into it. Y'all, I've got my brownie mix into a large bowl here. To that, I'm gonna go ahead now and add my five tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water. Two eggs. And now I've got about half a cup of flour, and this will really help pull it together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and use my electric hand mixer to mix this very well. Now, you can also use a wooden spoon if you would like, or like I said, your um, stand mixer. Make sure you start on the low setting so you don't have the flour and the brownie mix come back at you, okay? Start at the low setting, and then once it starts mixing, you can ramp it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and take a wooden spoon and just kind of push that down. I'm going to take out my beaters here and see if I can get some of that stuff out. This is a very thick batter, y'all, all right? Now I'm just going to move it around with a wooden spoon a little bit and let it kind of get the rest of that powder up. All right, now that's what it should look like. Okay, now that we've got it all up mixed up, I'm going to use a one-inch cookie scoop here. And go in and just kind of flatten it off the edge of the bowl. Put it onto our pan here just like that, all right? Once we put these on here, we want to make sure that they're about two inches apart. That way they can grow. All right, y'all, so I've got my cookies ready to go. Now what I'm doing is I got a little piece of parchment paper here that I'm just gonna lay on each ball of cookie dough. And then I'm just taking a bottom of the glass and just smashing it down just a little bit. What this is gonna do is help the sprinkles stick to our cookies and not roll off, all right? And the parchment paper helps prevent the cookie from sticking to the bottom of our glass. So don't go too flat, all right? Just about a quarter of an inch. All right, so I've got a bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sprinkles in there for easy handling. So I'm just gonna open up the package here. 
Look how pretty those are right there. All right, I'm just going to take a few and kind of just sprinkle them on my cookie. Just like that. You know, you can make these any time. You don't need a party, you don't need a holiday. Right now is a good time to make these, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and get the rest of the sprinkles on here. They are all done. Look how pretty those look. Okay, we're ready to put these in our oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. Around the eight minute mark, make sure you're checking. Just touch the cookie and then make sure it's got like a thin little layer on the top, okay? And then, cause you don't want your finger to dip through it, but we do want a firmness, but you don't want to overcook these, okay? So keep an eye on them. I'll be back. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven. Look how pretty those look. All right, if you can see there's cracks, that is perfect what we're looking for. When you, let's see, let me get to one. When you touch the cookie, it should be nice and kind of almost firm on the top, just a little bit, but it definitely should have a skin on there, all right? Look at those. All right, I'm gonna cool these down for one minute. I'm gonna put them on the rack to cool down for just another few minutes, and then we're gonna try these. It made about 30 cookies with one inch cookie scoop, and if you do the big cookies, it'll probably, you know, using the two inch, you're gonna get half of that. So just keep that in mind. I'm so excited. Okay. It's, y'all, look at the back of it. It is so nice and firm on the back side and kind of crispy around the edges of the cookie. And I bet it's gonna be soft and veggy on the inside. Mmm. Oh y'all, that's the perfect cookie. Mmm, it's got that brownie consistency for sure. No, oh, it's so delicious. That's why a few of these have already left before I was able to come over here and show y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Funfetti brownie mix cookies. On to the next one. All right, we're gonna start our second brownie mix cookie. I'm gonna be using a salted caramel brownie mix, and then I'm also gonna be adding some chocolate chips to it. Now these are white chocolate chips to make them pretty. All right, I'm gonna be using a one inch cookie scoop. Now, I've got some pans lined with some parchment paper. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. So, we're gonna go ahead and open our box mix. Now, when you're using brownie mix from a box, you're looking for anywhere between 18 to 19 ounce box, all right? And this one here is 18.4 ounces. All right, so in my salted caramel brownie mix box, there came a package of brownie mix that I put into a large bowl right here. And then it also came with a caramel package. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that here in just a minute. Now to my dry brownie mix, I'm going to add half a cup of all-purpose flour, five tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of water, and then two eggs. All right, so I am using the heavy duty beaters here, not the wire whisk ones, because this is gonna be a heavy batter and you don't wanna like break your wire beaters, all right? If you're using a stand mixer, the same process, all right? If you use your paddle, use the paddle and not your wire whisk, okay? to help get through the batter here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and you wanna start slow just to kind of get the flour and everything incorporated and then you can ramp it up. Then we're going to finish it off with a wooden spoon and our chocolate chips to get those incorporated in there really good. All right, let's go. All right, now, you know, it might fight you a little bit and that's fine. Just stop it at some point and then we're going to finish mixing it with a wooden spoon while we add our chocolate chips. Now I've got about one cup here. All right, there we go. 
All right, using our one inch cookie scoop, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab some, I'm gonna pull it along the side of the bowl and just scrape off at the edge. And then I'm just going to place it onto my parchment lined pan here. Now give them some room. We're gonna need about two inches per cookie. All right, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is smash these cookies down to about a quarter of an inch thickness. Now I've got a piece of parchment paper here and then just the bottom edge of the glass and I'm just going to place it onto my dough ball there and then just smash it down. Now using the parchment paper will help keep the dough from sticking to the bottom of your glass. Now I've got my caramel packet here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squish it around for about 10 seconds. We're going to open it up and then we're going to squeeze a little bit onto each cookie. Give it a nice swirl. I'm just going to cut off the tip. I'm just going to dollop it on each cookie. All right, then just take a knife and just kind of go to it and just make sure that it's all centered. All right, there we go. These are gonna go into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. Y'all keep an eye on these and then just make sure that the edges of the cookies are nice and solid, okay? Not too hard though, all right? We want just a nice little film on the outside, okay? I will be back. All right, my salted caramel white chocolate chip brownie cookies came out of the oven. Look at that. That looks delicious. All right, so I'm going to let these rest on the pan for just a minute or so, and then I'm going to take these off and place these on a rack and let them cool for an additional two or three minutes, and then I'm going to try one for you. All right, y'all, these turned out amazing. Salted caramel brownie mix cookies with white chocolate chips. You can't beat it. All right, I'm going to try one for you right now. Look how firm those came out. The back side of it, oh, just perfect. A little crispy around the edges and nice, soft, kind of ooey gooey brownie on the inside. And then you got that caramel on top and white chocolate chips. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm, that tastes very delicious. Mmm. All right, so I just took this right here. I added some white chocolate chips to it. <laughs> Check out my recipe, y'all. Y'all, if y'all want to see cake mix cookies, I've got plenty of those out there on my blog and on my YouTube channel, so check them out. Okay, everyone, which was your favorite? Funfetti or the salted caramel with white chocolate chip? Either way, go out and get you a box of brownie mix. Y'all, there are so many different variations you can do to jazz yours up. All right, here are my plates right here. I got some happy people around here ready to dive in. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They've already dived in and they're gone. All right, y'all, pick your favorite. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. You'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. Till my next episode.